I am so excited right now. First of all, yesterday was my birthday and it was 84 degrees out, which that is like, that has to be a record, right? Let me look up the average for May 21st because that's insane. And so I was like, if it's this hot out right now, I cannot move on without doing a summer trends because I've been just been thinking so much about summer fashion in general right now. So average temperature for yesterday, 71. So because we're getting summer weather earlier this year, we're going to do a summer trends video earlier this year because I normally wait until we're like at least into the season a little bit or right before it. So these are all the things that are trending in my neck of the woods, things that I'm just like really interested in. I actually have a lot of things on my list and I am going to try my best to be the least repetitive version of myself in this. So if you want to go watch my other trends videos, I have a ton where I talk about things that I think are still going to be trending right now, but I'm leaving out for your sake. And um, we're just going to jump right in. This is maybe something that I have mentioned before, but not in a trends video, uh, but white Mary Janes, like white shoes in general, but white Mary Jane flats. I have this one pair I have been like, drooling over like drip drooling <laughs> over and they're by chanel i remember when the fashion week moment happened and i was like in awe of them and now they're starting to like like people are starting to wear them and buy them and things and that is a pipe dream i did find like i don't want to say a dupe but like a very similar pair of white flats and they're by Tory Burch and they're so, so, so beautiful. They're a leather. And that's the thing too, is like, let's say I had, I don't even know how much they are, $2,000 to drop on a pair of shoes. White cloth shoes, maybe not the smartest for me personally. So in all worlds, um, imaginary and not, probably the Tory Burch are the smartest anyway, but they're so beautiful. I love that they have like that very 60s leaning feel to me. And they're again, just, they're still expensive, but they're a lot better than the Chanel ones. So I'm just throwing that out there that I love that silhouette so much. Uh, and I just think that with a pair of like white, stark white crew socks in the summertime with like a nice chill outfit with an, a really great outfit. I've also mentioned like that kind of similar silhouette with a white basic, very thin sneaker, like a Superga uh, or a van or something like that. And I just still, I still think it's so classic and beautiful. And I think it's still kind of underrated in a way. And it's something that I don't really do a lot because I don't have like that kind of style of shoe right now. But I feel like I'm really leaning towards that. And uh, what's the other one? I can't think of it. Keds, Keds. While we're on that note in general, both of those kind of feel very 60s leaning to me. And I just think a 60s leaning shoe right now is everything to me. So um, like all of the ones I've mentioned, things like this T-strap heel, Cezanne has this really beautiful pair and they just really give me that feel. Also platform loafers. Uh, Gucci has been really like honing in on these platform loafers. And I love the look of them. At first I was actually like, no, whatever. Now I'm like so obsessed with them and I think they're beautiful. And again, I think in the spring and summer, mini dresses, mini skirts, things like that. And just in general, a heeled loafer style or a loafer style heel, I think is really pretty. Also the black and white Oxford, like semi bowling shoe kind of look. I think that is so classic, so timeless. Uh, and I'm so mad at myself because I'm pretty sure I used to have a pair and I don't know what happened. You know, it was in my like Twi era and they were like from Payless and they were really cute. They probably fell apart. That's probably why I don't have them, but a black and white version. I think mine were brown and white. So another shoe style too is an espadrille. I think an espadrille is so classic and me a year ago would not have said this, but I mean, I've always probably thought it was classic, but I wouldn't have like cared about it as much. Right now, I just feel like it's so delicate and dainty and again, timeless. Like the espadrille specifically with the ties up the ankle, I think that is so pretty. Like that's the word, pretty. You guys may know that those have been on my list. However, when I've talked about them in the past, I haven't been able to find like current day pictures uh, of them styled to put in the inspiration section, but I've recently been seeing them, so I'm adding them to this official list that I think we're going to see them more, and I hope that we do because, again, I just think that they're so, so pretty. Vintage Lacoste has been really exciting me lately, and it's something that I feel like was randomly sprung on me. Like, I would walk past the Lacoste store at the mall, and I'd be like, eh, whatever. Then lately, I feel like within the past six months or something, I've been, like, peering in there. I think they had a collaboration, actually, with Minecraft, and that's kind of what, like, sparked my interest. I didn't really love the collaboration or anything, but I went on their site to look at it and saw their other stuff. And I was like, wait, this stuff is really cute. And I feel like I've been sleeping on them for a little bit. And um, so then I went and started going back to old vintage Lacoste and kind of uh, looking at their old uh, editorial shoots and things like that. And I just think they're so fun uh, and fun. That's probably not the right word. Classic, but like with kind of like a, just, I, I think the whole idea of preppy to me is really fun because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone or out of my like normal personal style. And so that's what I think is fun about it, if that makes sense. And I just really love how just simple preppy chic 
they are and I think that they're timeless pieces again that can be styled so many different ways like a Lacoste vintage v-neck cardigan so cute I also think it kind of really plays well with uh, the Mew Mew prep and like the boat shoes which are a big thing on my list constantly um, that I just personally am really obsessed with just boat shoes in general I think they're really fun and again all of those kind of sit in the same circle as like tennis core to me which after watching the challengers I listen I I told, tell you guys I'm so so easily inspired but the next day or two days after I watched the challengers I went to Target they had that like tennis uh what is the other one they have like a pickleball wine and I was trying everything on because I'm like this is so fun again because it's so out of like my normal style I think it's really really cute and can be so playful and um I just like a good sporty look so Again, tennis court as a whole, I think this summer to me is going to be a heavy inspiration. I feel like I really loved ballet court. It, to me, it's it kind of branches off in my head from ballet court in a way, just kind of the silhouettes of the skirts and uh, especially like vintage Wimbledon looks. I've been really pinning on Pinterest a lot. And so I just, all of those are very, very exciting to me right now. Crochet pieces, crochet everything right now is everything. I have been seeing so many like mesh kind of crocheted dresses with the beads at the bottom, just crocheted pieces in general, vintage crochet or like that cross stitch, uh, those kind of like, I've been seeing a lot of people upcycling thrifted uh, placemats of those or like table wear into like shirts and dresses and pants and I think it is the coolest thing ever. Uh, and just crochet pieces in general, like I mentioned, this is from my last summer's video, but a mesh crochet hat or what did my mom call it last night? A skull cap, I think she called it. Yeah, I think it's skull cap. And that like specifically inspired from Pardo hats. Pardo hats to me is like the top tier of hats, especially for summer. And I think that just crochet everything, crochet dresses, tops, bags. I feel like I've been seeing people talk about it more than I have in a really long time, which it, me included, I feel like I've really been interested in the past year. So, okay. So you know how last year I was talking a lot about mesh shoes or mesh flats specifically? I feel like that has really, really picked up speed throughout the whole year and then going into the summertime right now, I've been seeing them nonstop. I've also been seeing that silhouette and style moved into now the jelly shoe, which I feel like has been talked about for the past couple of years, but I've really been seeing it a lot lately. Um, jelly flats, uh, just clear shoes. I have like this one pair that I bought last summer and they're like a sports shoe or like a boat. No, they're like a water shoe. That's right. And they're literally just clear naked and they kind of, I, you probably will never see me wearing them. Maybe I wore them once in a video last summer, but I, um, because they really don't do the prettiest thing to your feet. Like at least mine, they like smush, you know, like your face up against glass, not usually the best representation. So I will spare you, but they are really fun and I wear them a lot in real life. And I just think they're really comfortable and, uh, they're designed to be made in the, worn in the water. And so I feel like I don't know, my feet get sweaty in them, but I kind of don't mind it in the summertime because I'm just sweaty in general. And so I think that they're cute. I like that they kind of elongate your legs because it looks like you're not wearing shoes in a way. And yeah, just a naked foot shoe in general is all over and I am here for it. I would love to know what you guys think, an updated version, because I know a lot of you guys were mixed last summer on it. And so let me know down below because I'm curious. Specifically, someone who styles them really well, I think is Courtney Grows on Instagram. Let me look. At Courtney Grow, love her style. It's very like, playful but um like classic at the same time and like a good balance of both and she styles them and it's so fun can we talk about hair really quickly because i've been so uber inspired by like 1800s hairstyles and i mean like i mean 1800s as a whole like from the beginning to the end i love everything in between and i specifically am really into obviously like this kind of like really big flower moment even bigger like again kind of referencing bridgerton a lot of the future references just to beware, are from Bridgerton because I'm very inspired right now. But um, it, I've been talking about the great two for a while. Big flowers, and I feel like while I'm seeing those, I'm like, how can I make that into a more like me style? Because I don't see myself necessarily as much as I would love to on the day to day. Like the really big hair, that's just so cool to me. So trying to modernize it a little bit for myself. I just love adding them into any hairstyle. And you know what I just saw recently? I saw an 1800s bow hairstyle. And I don't know if you guys were in the same uh, world that I was in online in like, oh my God, I don't know, 2012 maybe. So I had come across this like bow bun tutorial and that thing did not leave my hair for probably four to five years. And even still I'll do it sometimes where you make a bun and then you pull the tail of the bun 
through and so it looks like a little bow and I recently saw a picture from the 1800s that had that and I was like oh my god I'm obsessed again I just needed to see it with a new lens and a new light and now I'm going to be doing that so if you see that that's why uh, but again just going back to 1800s hairstyles I think they are so fun and playful I know a lot of you guys are like me growing out your natural hair even if you're not and you're still playing around with your hair and having fun I just think there's something so sweet and non-committal about playing around with different hairstyles and so all of these are on my mind lately. Have you guys seen the Nikki Chasen or Nikki Chasen uh, bikini kind of style t-shirt? I've mentioned this before, but I think it's so pretty and I feel like we're going to just continue seeing that kind of silhouette going into the summertime. I've actually seen other brands too with like the printed one. I can't think of the name of it, but it looks like this right here. And it's like that, you know, cool printed t-shirt with a bikini on it. And even going back to the old vintage or like just like the stupid playful, uh, dress t-shirt dresses with the uh, swimsuit on it I love those I have one from Miley Cyrus's merch shop from last year and I wear it uh, all the time whenever I'm in a bathing suit and I think we're going to see more of it and I hope we do because again I love things that are kind of just silly like that and last summer to me was the year of the jersey I was like constantly in a soccer or a hockey jersey or something because they're so lightweight and airy. I have like this one penny jersey kind of thing that I wore to a couple of concerts. They are so, so nice for outdoor concerts in the summer because you're just like, when you want to wear an outfit, but you don't want to be feeling like you're wearing an outfit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, the air goes right through it. You wear like a little bikini top under it. That's what I do. And it looks really cute. And it's something that I'm going to definitely carry into the summer as well. You guys know I like a funky hat. I think that this is the summer of the funky hat. Or we're gonna just keep moving into it because I just have been, I love hats so much. But the funkiness of the hats are continuously elevating, at least, again, on my world online I just have been seeing them constantly and I love these hats right here and also more wearable versions like my Lorna Murray hat I love so much because it's first of all it's foldable second of all you can like flip it up it's just so great for the summertime uh also sailor hats just any kind of hat pirate hats like the really big pirate hats super big straw woven hats epic to me also how about a princess hat those princess hats I've been seeing a lot of and I love those. And if you have a birthday coming up, highly recommend making a birthday crown. My sister and I did that this year and it was just so fun to be able to wear that and just like cute and I'm gonna re-wear it every year. And uh, I, re I saw that on Pinterest and I went down a rabbit hole of those and then like princess hats in general. And I'm like, why can't you wear a princess hat in daily life? I will be, I think it's fun. And I am a hat girl through and through. And you know what else I'm here for? The American Apparel Revival. Is LA Apparel American Apparel? I think it is, but I might be wrong. Either way, LA Apparel has this vibe to it that is very American Apparel to me, and I just think the American Apparel classics can be styled with anything, and I love that about it. I think you can really style it up into a funky way. You can really just like minimalize it with a pair of jeans and flats, and you're really cute still, and it's just something that I personally miss. I'm reminiscing. Waist details in general, I feel like, obviously we've been talking about the belts for a really long time. I don't think that's stopping anytime soon. Going into summer and stuff with a big belt, so cute, but also just anything else that goes on the way. We've already talked about belt bags and we've talked about aprons. Uh, now I've been seeing a lot of fringe details and then just also like sheer little, like I would call them aprons. It's definitely an apron-esque style. Just like a little sheer tie skirt to add over your jeans. And I think that if you're someone who really likes that kind of silhouette or like I've been really like playing around with dresses over jeans um, and skirts over jeans, I think that that's a really, for me, a little bit more digestible of a way to do that. And I've thrifted vintage aprons, as you guys may know if you're here on my channel, but I, I'm, I have a vow to wear them more because they're like so fun. I've also been seeing an uptick in the Marnie uh, market tote, which I love those totes so much. They have like these kids versions that I'm always saving on Essence and they're definitely a little bit smaller. So if you're looking for something that's small, Essence always has them on sale and they're really, really cute. Uh, but also just in general, the bigger market totes from them or just like a colorful plastic woven bag in general is something that I feel like going into the summer, moving from the basket bag. I think that there's such a playful element to it. And again, maybe it's just because it says kids in the title of the Marnie ones that I'm thinking this, but when I see them styled, I just think it's so playful and adds like just a very like, I'm going to the beach. I don't have any plans for the rest of the day mixed with the outfit that you're wearing. If it's not like it doesn't match that vibe, I love that, you know? Personally, still in my butter yellow phase and my like light blue phase, but I am really liking like a light pink kind of 
orangey pink. I guess that would be like a peach tone. I really, really like that lately. And it's a it's a, just a color in general that I have not ever really been super interested in. And I think having accessories in that color is really fun and just really, really summery to me. I've already mentioned bag charms. It's something that I just have to mention just for the sake of mentioning it, but you guys know how I feel about them. I love them if you don't know how I feel. And I just think they're really fun and add so much like character and personality to a bag that maybe you're not super obsessed with or you are obsessed with the bag or you just wanna like re-up it and make it like more fun again. That's me at least. Some things that may just be trending in my world that I don't know are um, a more broader uh, scheme, but like pleats all over. I've been talking about pleated skirts for a really long time now, but I've been seeing pleated tops and like just pleated dresses and just every, any kind of pleat, literally any kind of pleat I am obsessed with. And I love like the fully pleated tops. I just think so, it adds such an interest to it. And it's something that I personally wanna learn to sew and make and I just I love the look of that. Lastly some things on my list again still hair bandanas moving over that but uh 70s style sneakers. I love the style of Adidas sneaker and specifically like the brown shade. I think I added these maybe to my wish list recently and it's just something that I feel like was here and there but now I'm seeing on everyone and it just I just think they're really pretty and especially the colors that they come in, I think complement um, the color palettes, my color palettes <laughs> really well right now. And so they're on my list and it's just something that I like. So those are all of my summer trend predictions right now. I'm sure as we get into the summer, I'll make like an updated, like what I'm liking right now video or something, but I'm just really excited. I am a new summer girl. I have always been a fall winter girl, but as the years go on and I progress, I evolve into a summer girl. So last year and this year, I'm like claiming that energy and I'm just stoked, especially about the fashion. So let me know what's trending in your world. I'd love to know. If you like these kinds of videos, also feel free to subscribe down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.